Hello everyone, John Joe, welcome to Line War. Today we have the finals match of the 2v2 tournament in Line War. Now we have the blues, like the alpha team section that could have gone in this area here, but they didn't want to go on the smaller island, I assume, because they've started right here, which could be a problem for them because the enemy team has started right on the edges of them and is able to sandwich them, but alpha team have started together right in the forest, which means they do gain a bit of stealth bonus. But, as we can see, Romad has gone for tanks. And we've got a few... Well, we've got a factory. We've got a lot of barracks coming out from Daz. But, Bravo team. Archer has gone completely into barracks. Six barracks up and running. And so has just an addict. Six barracks up and running as well. Now, the, <clears throat> the problem with that, although we're going to have a lot of tanks here, is that, like, Bra Alpha team are completely in the forest. Which means the infantry are going to get a massive boost here. Daz is definitely taking the right move. We've got a lot of barracks coming out of him. But it might be a little late at this point. This, this is why I love the infantry so much. Especially when your enemy is in the forest. So you get a 20% bonus in attack power I believe. And 20% bonus in defense. So these guys are boosted 20% in both aspects. So these tanks are going to be moving slower in the forest as well. And they're going to be dealing with really buff infantry. <laughs> so, Roman has gone for a bit of a defense here, which is going to be really good. Because they're going to be boosted in defense because these are infantry. And boosted in attack power. And then boosted again because of the uh, fortifications. But they're protecting their energy well, which they really need to do if they're going to want to make these tanks really useful. The tanks are going to be pushing straight for the structures, which is a very good idea. You want to take out their structures as fast as possible, but the infantry are just going to body block them by the looks of it. Put on all the commands. There we go. I didn't realise I had them off. So the infantry here are going to body block on this side while the tanks are trying to find a, a place to get in through. But they're literally just going to get trapped, I think. Over on this side, some infantry are coming in. Streaming through one at a time though, unfortunately, so that does give Daz a bit of an advantage. The artillery are going to be really helpful here as well. Pushing in over the infantry. But even with the defense here, we've got light blues units coming in down here, taking on the refinery, which is, if they take that out, these tanks are going to be absolutely useless. Apart from, they will be able to fire, they just won't be able to move. They look, that's on fire already. I don't know if they're going to actually be able to defend that. They do have some energy storage, so maybe they'll have some there. We'll have to have a quick look at their energy. So yeah, they will be able to save that 19 still. But now they're going to have to rebuild that. If one of these 19 energy runs out, those tanks are just going to stop moving. So right now, Archer is pushing in from the right, streaming all their infantry in as best they can. And just an addict is doing the same thing on the opposite side. And it looks like addict is focused on the structure. Both players are actually focused on the structures a bit. As you can see, they're streaming in. They've got the strike command set up. And they're just going to ignore the enemy and try and attack the structures. Romad's running low on energy. These tanks are just about running on fumes right now. But he is building this energy well once again. So he will be able to set those tanks to run off again soon. Two structures do go down for Alpha Team. And that energy well is going to be put under pressure again very soon. So It's going to be a bit of a struggle for Alpha Team to get out of this. Because also, Bravo Team is trying to expand. Actually, to be fair, so is Daz up over there. So they are still both expanding with teams. I mean... Archer isn't able to expand, and nor is Romad, so this is actually kind of a balanced map when it comes to the eco side of things. They're doing their best anyway. But I think both of Bravo team are going to focus down Romad right now. Sending in units from both sides, and most of these units are just coming in down here, so Daz needs to come in and defend him. But I don't think Daz has realised this, because potentially their advantage of being in the forest and having stealth, these infantry are kind of stealthed as well. Making it a little harder to realise what the enemy is actually doing. But Romad's just got his energy well back online, I think. It's not yet producing anything. There we go. 
Now it's online, and there's a helicopter coming in as well. He's built an airfield over here, which I didn't see coming, and this helicopter is going to be helping against these tanks by taking out the energy instead. So Daz is going for a bit of eco because he knows he needs to come back from this. So he's trying to set up something while he still can. While he hasn't got the pressure on for himself. And it does look like Daz is doing a very good job at trying to defend Romad from one side now. So now it's just that Romad and Daz need to try and find a way to stop the enemy on this side. Which arguably could be the more important side when the energy is there. But then you also have to figure out a way to stop the helicopters as well. Which he is trying to set up some SAM units and he's switched into artillery because the tanks can't really move. I think he's not going to worry too much about the energy right now. He just wants to try and stop that from happening over there. We do have a bit of a chase going on here. Daz is desperately trying to find a way to keep his expanding force alive. And he's building up another force here to potentially stop this group coming in this way. They're about to use the lose the energy depot as well. As the units come in from the side. And the tanks aren't able to move. But if there, any units do come into range, they will be able to attack still. And it looks like just an addict's units are rushing in over these artillery. And are able to take it out. Taken quite a few out already. But Archer has switched focus towards Daz instead. Since the tanks aren't able to move anymore, he's more confident to just go for Daz now, leaving Addict to focus down Roma. Did Daz's units actually escape? They did, but the helicopter is trying to hunt them down along with a couple of units as well, trying to make sure they don't set up another proxy base somewhere else. I'm not sure if this match so far has been a bit of a slaughter, but if Daz can get out of this by getting away up there somewhere, Having the enemy stuck with a lot of infantry, although it could be very beneficial to expand through the map, late game it doesn't really work so well. Down here the tanks are still unable to try and defend their own structures and Addict's actually trying to pick off the structures that are less defended and he's doing a really good job taking those out. There's only two left for Romad and he doesn't really have anywhere else he can build. So this is going to be it for Romad, and he, his economy is unfortunately trapped a little bit. And Daz is trying to move his units down, I think, literally through Yellow's infantry as well. They may not be able to see each other. I think they can, to be fair. They are shooting each other. But they're just trying to push through Yellow to try and get Blue. Blue switching focus now as well to get Daz's town that's over here. And there's quite a few units moving that way, so these infantry might be able to do at least a lot of damage to it. And it could end up being finished off by the helicopters in the near future. Over here we do have a bit of engagement. Daz's units is able to stop this force trying to push through in that section. He's trying to move back to save those units. And Daz's units have survived so far, but they are just running away from the fight. They're trying to find another place to call home. These units are on a strike command now to take on this town. And I think they might actually be successful here with Daz under pressure from the right hand side as well as the left. I think this group of units are able to strike this town out of existence. There we go. It does go out and we got all these units moving up through. They're not willing to take on Romad, but they know Romad's pretty much out of the game, which he's just called it himself. And so has Daz. So, that's Team M270 winning the first round of the finals against this team. There will be another match coming out soon of these two teams going in for the next game. Thank you for watching. There are two videos on screen right now. Feel free to click on one, and I'll see you there.